previously on Balls. Well, the news doing the rounds. It's trending, top trending on Twitter today, and uh, we heard it break just after lunchtime. The sad passing of uh, of Dr. Louis Late, um, a man um, instrumental, an iconic figure in not only South African rugby but also South African business, um, and a man who was very closely affiliated to the Lions. On on the line to speak to us is the president of the Golden Lions Rugby Union, Kevin De Klerk. Uh, Kevin, good afternoon, and, and thanks for your time today. Good afternoon, John. Uh, it's only a pleasure, and to your listeners as well. And yes, uh, a sad day for, for Lions Rugby. John, immensely sad. Um, you know, Doc Late was a, a very good friend of mine, and I think without without um, you know stating it, the fact that he he actually did an immense amount not only for Golden Lions and Transvaal Rugby at that time, but South African and, and World Rugby. And quite correctly stated, Johnny was an iconic figure. Yeah, uh, he was highly regarded and highly respected by everybody in, in the sport. Yes, Kevin, it's uh, Simon Hill chatting to you as well. And uh, obviously, you know, we we all do do mourn the passing of uh, Doctor Late. A, a long illness. Uh, any idea what that illness was? John, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Uh, look, he, he, uh, <clears throat> and I suppose that ultimately is for the family to decide what they would yes. like to release out. But you know, Doc, Doc was 80. He just turned 80. Yes. Which, which I suppose is a good innings by anybody's standard. Uh, and, you know, he lived a very, very um, energetic and, and, and full life. Yes. And, and I think these, these things possibly started to take the toll on him as well. Uh, Kevin, you, you mentioned earlier that uh, he, he played a huge role at uh, Transvaal Rugby. Tell us, tell us some of the stuff that, that he achieved and, and the, the things that he passed that, uh, that, that affected the union and essentially turned the union around. John, yeah, you're quite quite right, you know, and I had, I had the great, great privilege as a player at the time, and my then captain on overalls at Diggers to introduce uh, Dr. Leiter to Diggers as the team, and that's which then enabled him to move on to become the president of of of, of, of uh, Golden Lions Rugby. At the time, uh, Jan Leroux, the current president of the stage, um, ventured on the, the redevelopment aspect of Ellis Park, which as you see it is today, and... and um, <coughs> I think hit a few very serious snags and I uh, think um, repossessed the property but mm. could not manage it. They not been the core business and they, they asked Dr. Lake to come in uh, to, to run it and fix it, which he did. And often he used his own finance uh, to help pay players' salaries and, and help prop up the business. And he was instrumental in, in turning the Ryan lines around very much at that stage, uh, culminating in the success of that 94 I think Super 10 uh, championship win by Transvaal and then directly thereafter the 95 World Cup which comprised of probably two thirds of Golden Lions players Cause, and in a way he, he paved the way for, for rugby to become a professional sport in South Africa there's absolutely no doubt he actually saved rugby in, in many senses because I think there were, they were the Australian uh, professional contingent under Murdoch if I'm not sure Packer Kerry Packer at the time that was looking to, to contact all our players and uh, we couldn't afford that and they stepped in and I think tied up a separate deal and as you quite rightly say introduced this um, this new um, uh, breeder brand of rugby that we do see today you know Lake, Dr. Late was also very responsible I think for, for transformation uh, you know he, he brought Nelson Mandela to to Ellis Park and we could never forget those moments in 1995 yeah and of course we won't hop on about the, the controversial side to, to Dr. Late uh, <laughs> but because <laughs> he also brought uh, Nelson Mandela to court but um, <laughs> but but yeah and uh, I know that he, he lived in Belito but but his heart was still very much with the Lions and I know that uh, you know he when we spoke to him last year he was very very sad with, with how what had happened to the union oh, very very much sad so. I, I, he was on the line very often to me, and in fact, I was telling somebody early on that he he often volunteered to come and sit next to me at that Ella Spark to come and help um, fight all these these uh, perceived enemies of of, of the lines and, and uh, sort things out. But you know, I was having the greatest respect for Doc Lake, uh, rather respected his retirement and the time that he needed to be on his own. 
and, and uh, I'm sure that if he came up, the sparks would have flown in any way. Yeah, no, I'm sure. He was very, very passionate. And, uh, you know, he, yeah, I, I think we'll play the interview that we, um, that we had with him. We'll play that a bit later on. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, speaking of, of, of the union, you guys have got a game against the Bulls this weekend. Um, how are things, how things going there in this rather odd season John, for you, you guys? Know, it, it's, it's been, a, you know, um, we've also been very blessed in that, you know, we've had some very hard-working people amongst our staff so they put together a very good, good um, series in the Lions Challenge and the, you know the Bulls and the, the Sharks and the, and the Cheetahs form part of that Lions Challenge and as you've seen the first two games the youngsters have done phenomenally well but you know sincerely John if we, we're really realistic there are a lot of young guys we, we hope for the best but we're also realistic there's, there's a lot of hard work ahead for us and our focus is going to be back on that um, those playoff matches you know, against the, the last side of, of the Super 15 to get back into the Super 15 for 2014. Well, we wish you the best of luck. And, uh, Kevin, thank you so much for your time on Balls Visual Radio this afternoon. And condolences uh, to the union. Dr. Late, say what you like about him. I think he had the best interests of the Lions at heart. He, he always did. You know, he was, he was probably one of the best leaders ever in South African rugby. And I often, often remarked that, you know, when they made Dr. Late, they... They broke the mould. There's only there always only be one doctor later, and we'll miss him very, very sorely. Kevin, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Thank you so much, John. Lovely talking to you. This is Balls Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate, and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African Time. Balls.co.za.